Before leaving for New York today, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu hailed Israel's great success over the last three years in the face of Iran's aggression in the region and vowed to continue doing whatever it takes to protect Israel's security. Netanyahu, who will speak at the U.N. General Assembly and meet with U.S. President Donald Trump this week, also said that he told Russian President Vladimir Putin that Israel was deeply distressed over the loss of 15 lives due to the unintentional downing of a Russian plane last week. Russia has blamed Israel for the incident. A Russian news agency says it has data proving that the Israeli Air Force was responsible for the downing of a Russian plane. The Russian Defense Ministry spokesman said on Monday that the ministry noticed comments made by the Israeli military seeking to distort the facts, such as insisting that the Israeli fighter jets had already left Syria at the time of the incident. A New York Times journalist has stated that Moscow is reluctant to admit that its own missile shot down their plane. An Iranian news agency has published a video threatening the capitals of Saudi Arabia and the UAE with missile attacks. This comes just days after the weekend attack on an Iranian military parade, which killed at least 29 people and wounded over 60. Iranian officials have blamed regional Sunni Arab countries for backing the Arab separatists, as well as Israel's Mossad and the U.S. The Israeli company ICI Vision has developed digital eyewear with the potential to give millions of legally blind people the ability to see. The company's Orama high-tech glasses are the brainchild of Chaim Hayet, an Israeli optic physicist who was originally creating augmented reality goggles for motorcyclists.